So today, I'm extremely excited to bring you a brand new silhouette by Nike Sportswear. This is the first Air Max design specifically for lifestyle use. So every other Air Max has been made for running purposes and everything and the design's philosophies around it have been for running and performance. So this is the first ever Air Max released just for lifestyle use for all day comfort. We all know that Nike, as well as every other shoe manufacturer, would never look at the Air Max uh, as an actual running shoe. And so this is kind of a big change in terms of the philosophy of what Air Max is supposed to be. A little more history about the Air Max 270 model. It's designed with the Air Max 180 and Air Max 93 as design inspiration. It was actually able to cop, in addition to the Air Max 270 yesterday, the Air Max 180. I could have also gone the Air Max 93, but decided that it was probably not going to be something I would be able to wear. But I absolutely love this pair of the Air Max 180. And right over here is the Air Max 93 with a horseshoe based air unit. And so kind of looking at things today, it doesn't seem that special, but way back when, getting more air and more visible air out of the, the Nike sole units was one of the biggest challenges uh, for Tinker Hatfield and other designers because they kept, they, it was really difficult to get the plastics right and the type of technology right to actually make the visible air units bigger and larger. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, so I'm gonna to try to shine a light onto it. Uh, you can definitely see it in the black better, but you're actually able to see all the different Air Max logos on here. Uh, so there's Zoom Air, there's MX Air, there's TN Air, there's Air Max 90. Uh, it goes all along the front here that's embossed in a white as well as a black uh, and a shiny bit. And so if you're actually able to get a pair, you'll be able to see all these different kind of logos on there, which I thought is, is really cool. And, and obviously it is obviously an homage um, to all the different types of Air Maxes that have released in the past. And here it is, the beautiful Air Max 270 in black and photo blue. Uh, I was actually fortunate enough to also pick up the Air Max 270 in the hot punch colorway. I don't think I'm gonna keep these. Uh, I thought they'd be a lot cooler, but they're actually just super pink. I thought they would be a little more red. Um, but these also look really, really cool. But today we're gonna be reviewing the photo blue. So let's talk about the overall design of this shoe. It's actually very, very minimalistic. There's really not much to it. It's, it's a very black engineered mesh upper uh, with the, the air unit being the main kind of draw to the shoe. I believe Nike did this obviously on purpose and you're actually looking at the largest and tallest air unit ever made for any shoe. And it sits at 32 millimeters. What that also means is about 1.25 inches. Uh, so that's a lot higher than most other shoes that usually cap out around one inch. So the upper of this shoe is actually made out of two types of meshes. You can see the inner mesh on the inside. The outer mesh has much more holes to it uh, for breathability purposes as also kind of design cues. So you can see all these holes with many different types of sizes on there. Uh, also on the lateral side of the shoe, you're gonna be able to see the Nike swoosh symbol closer to the toe box. Alongside the Nike swoosh in the middle of the shoe, there is also another piece, if you look at near the rear, that is made of a nylon that says Air 270. And lastly, there is a hyperfuse material both on the middle of the shoe as well as the toe box of the shoe to add a little more rigidity. On the back of the shoe, you're gonna see the large and in charge air unit. It actually is attached to the TPU heel cup, which, uh, heel cup, which I believe is a really, really cool design cue. You can see that it turns into a black radiant. I can assume that they're going to do a lot of different things with this in the future uh, with many different other colorways. And as you move up to the top of the shoe, you can see the air branding. That is also made out of that nylon material. What is good is that there is a much thicker piece of mesh as well as other pieces in the back of the shoe so that you're not gliding around. Um, with just engineered mesh in the back. And finally, there is a black heel tab with Nike Air Max 270 branding on top of it. On the medial side of the shoe, you're gonna see the Air Max 270 branding with the Nike swoosh. Uh, what's cool about the Air Max 270 branding on this side is unlike the rest of the shoe where most things are basically printed on, you can see those little plastic pieces on top of it uh, that, that's pressed into the shoe, which is kind of cool. And obviously there's hyperfuse to add to the rigidity as well as support for the shoe. Moving to the bottom of the shoe, you are going to see the bottom of the air unit as well as the bottom of the forefoot. Uh, across the middle of the shoe, you are gonna see the Air Max branding as well. What is kind of awesome about the shoe is that there are different densities, like I said, and so the the area around here where it says Air Max is significantly more squishy uh, than this part. And I assume that is being done because the Air Max unit itself is relatively springy. And so having a little something softer over there would be great. Uh, and then finally having the 
the harder uh, forefoot allows you to transition better from heel toe heel toe. Uh, that's why I'd assume that they actually had to break it up right in the middle. The Vapor Max has something very similar in, in the middle of the shoe where it's broken up into two pieces. On the front of the shoe, you are going to see the laces with the Air Max 270 branding on the tongue. What I absolutely love about this pair and this shoe in general is if you don't like having your laces exposed and sometimes you just don't want that in your lifestyle shoe, What's great is the laces tuck extremely well right here. You can literally just tie them back here. Um, so while the upper itself is this sock-like booty upper, that's a one piece, this little tongue over here allows me to tuck my laces away. And as a lifestyle shoe, that makes a big difference to me in, in terms of its wearability and the way it looks. So the biggest question is how the hell do these feel on feet? This is one of the things that I was really afraid of because just because you have a big air unit doesn't necessarily mean very much. The Vapor Max is already a polarizing shoe and that was actually made for comfort and has fly knit. So this engineered mesh is a little bit different than most fly knit models. And so I had this on for about a day uh, and here are my thoughts on it. The first thing is that they're actually a super comfortable shoe. Um, I did not expect it uh, because the, the sole just seems normal to me. If, if you kind of look at Air Max 93, you know, it's, it's basically a 25 year old technology that we've had. Uh, so not that big of a deal, but the way they, they, they've made the sole, and you probably can't tell, is you'll see it on the on feet when I squish it down, but ultimately, they, I believe they tune this to be a little softer and less springy than the Vapor Max. I definitely don't have that same spring forward, which is actually not the worst thing when you're looking at a lifestyle shoe because then your nut feet, <laughs> feet as well as shins are less tired uh, as you're walking around. And so it's a, a much softer ride, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, the dual density foam in the front and the forefoot is actually a huge deal for me. Uh, I have foot problems. It's one of the reasons why I started wearing sneakers all over again and fell in love with, uh, all over again. But ultimately what it means is that the sole is a little bit harder. And so while you have the spring in the back as you transition into your, your, your stride, uh, the forefoot itself is relatively stiff. The shoe is a lot more stable than I expected in general. I kind of expected these to feel like high heels, but for men, um, but they don't. And so that has been a really, really great thing to note. The one thing that I do have a little disappointment with is the upper. Uh, the engineered mesh is just not that great. Uh, it, it, it feels good. Uh, but but flying it definitely feels better and if you've ever put the alpha bounce on or any other uh, adidas with also engineered, me engineered mesh I think the execution on the engineered mesh uh, from adidas is a significantly better than what's available here So one of the things about the upper that I, I really do like as well is the slope um, It really is bringing in all honesty. It's started to look more and more like like some of the the adidas runners uh, but that's not a bad thing. Finally, uh, from a sizing perspective, I would say your true to size is definitely going to fit, but the toe box, toe box is a little narrow. I wouldn't say it's as narrow as many other shoes, and so I wouldn't be too afraid to go true to size. I wouldn't have size up, uh, and so I would recommend if you do have fly knit based uh, shoes that you have from the past from Nike and you like the way those fit, definitely go with the fly knit size that you normally typically go with because because they are a bit snug. So with Nike nowadays, there's so many things releasing. It's absolutely insane uh, how many Air Max based models that they they have. We have the Air Max 180 that was released and I was able to cop. The 93 is, is re-emerging. The 95s are being used. The 97s are still being released in, in an ultra uh, version of it. Uh, the Air Max 270s are completely new. There's a new Air Force 270, uh, which looks amazing. Uh, it has a lot, adds a lot more design elements to the 270 midsole, uh, as well as outsole. So at the end of the day, I'm definitely gonna keep the blue pair. Uh, they're a lot more wearable, I feel like, for everyday use. They're comfortable. Uh, they're really easy to pair with, with outfits, and they just have enough strikingness to it uh, that makes it a little pop. Uh, in your lifestyle and your wardrobe. And so if you enjoyed this review, please hit the thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button. Would really love more subscribers as well as uh, comments. Uh, do you have a pair of these? Uh, what do you think? Were you able to cop the colorways that you wanted? I know the photo blue uh, sold out relatively quickly on the sneakers app, but some of the other ones were sitting around for about an hour or two before selling out. And that's it guys, this is the hot punch. This is the photo blue. Until next time, peace.